hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to make the product view in our laravel 8 e-commerce so previously we had made this thing right so on the category when we click on this category right we are able to view the product inside that particular category so now when we click on this product right we must be able to view the product details of this particular product so let's get started with that so this is my web.php so i have all my routes over here so we are in this page right Oh, in this front end controller so view category and on this page we are there so this is the products right which we are able to see over here so we have to make this card as clickable so inside the card we are going to add a tag so this closing tag just cut and paste it below this div and here we are going to create a URL say url of this thing you can see here so previously we had view category over here so we just removed that view word from here so now when you click on this product right the slug will be added over here so if i click on this redmi k20 pro it will be like category mobile slash redmi k20 pro so you just copy this part and paste it over here so this mobile sys will be changing according to the category so we are not going to give that static so I'll remove that and concatenate over here the category name which we already have here so I'm going to concatenate that and instead of name we are going to take the slug and again put a slash over here and concatenate the product slug so instead of product image copy and paste here instead of image say slug save and let us check the output refresh and here when I click on this thing you can see category mobiles redmi note 7 pro so now we are going to make the view page for that thing so let us create this URL in the web.php here it's a route get paste slash and here we are going to have the category slug slash here we are going to have the product slug say prod slug let us mention for this also so this is a cat slug this is a category slug and this is the products put come over here and here we are going to take the front end controller and the product view semicolon just copy the function name and go to the controller and just create a new function or here so function paste the name here we are going to take both the slug which we had passed over here so this cat slug and prod slug just copy that and paste over here dollar cat slug and comma dollar prod underscore slug so first we are going to check if any category exists with this slug or not so for the category thing we had already made that right so just copy and paste so this is a very simple code so you can see the category model where the slug is matching to our cat slug paste so if the slug exists then we are going to check for the product so if product model where the slug is equal to the dollar product slug copy paste here it's a exists function if or else return redirect the home page with status you can say no such product found or you can say the link was broken save and you can copy this and paste it the same for this or you can 
clearly mention no such category found save so if the product is found right we need to send the data of that so first say dollar product is equal to product model where can just copy it from here where slug is equal to this product slug it's not in single quote it's going to be dollar yeah dollar prod slug and here you are going to say first save so let us return the view now return view here we are going to show it inside this page resources views front end inside this products we are going to make a file called view dot blade dot php hit enter and we are going to display in that page so here we are going to say front end dot products is it product or products it is products dot view save with the compact function it's going to be compact copy a variable name and pass it inside that save so let us go to this page click here we are so i'll just extend the layout so from this index page just copy this paste copy the end section and paste it over here so this thing which we had passed over here dollar products copy that and the title so i'll just show you another method to show the title you can just remove this and here just add a comma and you can directly print it over here say dollar products of name save so let us just check this so you go to your browser and refresh so now click here so you can see the title has come so this redmi note 7 pro product the title has been displayed over here so now let us make the content say dot container call md12 4 so i'll just finish with this design and get back so I have finished with the designing so we'll just see the output so this is the design and here we are going to show the category name and the product name which we are there inside so these are just the data like we have shown for the in the admin panel right so it's just simple the products of original price and the name whatever the column names they are just displayed over here and this things are simple button and this is a simple bootstrap design you can get it from getbootstrap.com so this trending section and this trending analysis just you can see from here so what we have done here is this is static trending so we'll just change that here we are going to check dollar products of trending trending is equal to equal to one then so if it is that we're just going to show trending else we are going to leave it empty refresh and this is the trending thing so i'll just update that which was this and not sand pro right so directly in the database i'll just make it zero and refresh so this thing is visible so what we'll do is we'll put an if else condition so instead of taking this as this we'll just remove that control x say at if paste here say and if so you don't require all this thing save and now let us check the output refresh so it's gone so whatever products is there in the trending this thing will come over here 
else it will not be visible Head to the category mobiles and check for this thing so it is there in the trending right so it has come over here and it is in stock so if the product stock goes below zero this will become out of stock so for that you can see simple fills we have used if product of quantity is greater than zero it has to show in stock else out of stock and this thing we are going to make now so what category we are there inside right that thing we are going to show over here and this will be the product name so what i have shown over here so how you are going to get the category name is we are going to use the relationship over here so just remove this and double curly braces and you can say dollar products of the category of name so whoever is new to this video you can just go out and watch the previous video where we had made this I'll just show you it is in our app models product model so you can see here we have given the belongs to relationship to the category model so this is done and for the product name we are going to display the product name say dollar product dollar products of name save and let us refresh so we are there in this mobiles category and this is the product name let me just go back and check for the other thing so we are inside mobiles and this is the product name so let us just add this banner in this section so the breadcrumbs is visible over here also so what we are going to do is just copy this div tag and paste it in your index above this p5 okay save and instead of collections and category name we can directly give the dollar category name so just remove this dollar category name and we are not inside any product so just remove that section save and refresh so you can see you're inside collections mobiles and now we are inside the the product name you can see here it's visible so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to make the product view page in our laravel e-commerce in the upcoming videos we will be seeing this how to make this increment and decrement add to wish list and all so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again